What's wrong? What's wrong, little Knox? Tell me, Knox, what bothers you? Is Subnautica Get scaring you again? Fuck up. Oh. Thank you. I want to know if it. I think baby Knox pooped his pants. The Reaper scared him again. Right, I'm gonna take this crowbar and smack. I him. have some kinks that I want to like share with you, so we can like do these things. I'm looking, they're like, I have a foot pad. Uh oh, he's crying. Better go call mommy. Lisa Taylor, Lisa Taylor, Lisa Taylor. Oh! Go! Oh, yeah, I wonder if I rotate. Oh no, alright, he did fix that. You could bring the map up in the demo and you'd turn and you would have I guess I deserve that for all the times I've got you. Fair play. Oh no, this one already tastes fucking weird. God, I think this is it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Uh. I'll put music on. Oh. Uh. What the fuck? Oh no! What the fuck is that? Oh my god, go! 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 What are you doing? Go! <laughs> god fucking damn it! Oh my god! Do like a staircase here. Oh, fuck me! What the fuck? Dude. Are you for fucking real? I'm trying to play the fucking game here. Let's see what we got in this phone. Real quick, I'll check the cams again. Oh my fucking god damn it! Piece of fucking shit. What an asshole. Doesn't that guy have like a fucking surgery to go do or some shit? Let me jump in front of the cam. There's someone right around this side of this rock. Or in this house. <laughs> The scary has a mansion on it. It is rumored that the rich would visit the island once a year and participate in all sorts of horrific transactions. Human trafficking, slavery, torture, weapons trading. It was pretty hilarious. Oh, fuck me. A slalom of fucking crucifixes. <gasps> oh my god! Oh shit. Why did the music stop? I liked the music I felt. <gasps> and also me dying on the inside. Again, me dying on the inside, not in game. Fucking cats. Not What the fuck's going on there? Uh... 
Um, I'm not sure if that was a really strange glitch or if that's literally what's supposed to happen. Like, is this is this a fucking Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty running around ass naked for fucking three hours? Like, I, I don't even know what to fucking do with this right now. I don't know. There's the house. I'm sorry, what fucking noise was that? Fucking gunshots? Oh, Jesus Thank you for the host, demon. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. There's... We're gonna have to rip the handle out of some fucking dead dude. Hopefully still dead dude. More nails. Can't wait till I find a nailer. I'm gonna have all these nails to shoot. Radiology. Oh boy. <laughs> um. <Ooh. laughs> What? Oh, I found an E now. <laughs> Holy shit. I just got fucking lit up and that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, okay, cool. That was easy enough. Front door, I guess I'm going home. But after a while, you start seeing a sigil because you're losing control. All right, time for eye caps. Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. All I saw was his goddamn legs and his feet. Why are you going to be fucking haunched up there right. like fucking Gollum? All right, time to mix some... I have to do that tomorrow. I'm off work tomorrow, by the way. Uh, so that one is... Number nine. Are we ready to use that timing again? My word. What do you think, Doc? Huh? Am I doing good? What the fuck? What the fuck? Tell me you all just saw that. Okay. All right. So now that the power is on, we can go all the way upstairs, and I can go into the uh, that room next to the study because now I can turn that light switch on. So that's good. So maybe we'll do that first. Oh. Oh yeah. You Yo, what the fuck? Dude, honestly, this game's kind of shitty. Oh no! Whoa! They shut the fucking lights off again. Well, hello everybody. Welcome in. It's another lovely Saturday night here in the lair of the Juggernaut. Or my office, whichever you want to call it. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. 
Uh, today was a pretty good day for me. Uh, just kind of hung out today. What's up, Arco? Uh, kind of took it easy on myself today, even though I uh, got a couple of small things done. And uh, look at some converge. Where the fuck did that come from? I'm not even mad. Um, yeah, I was fortunately got my snowblower back and my generator back. Things are working. Skin of my fucking teeth. I feel like we're like real close to snow weather. I'm just, I just feel it in my fucking bones. Anywho. Um, so I made an announcement today in uh, Discord. And I forgot to mention on Twitter. So I don't know if everyone necessarily saw it or not. But uh, we have two things planned out I'd like to do um, this upcoming week. So on Friday, uh, Friday night, we're going to do the Jackbox Party Games community stream. Um, I have to figure out a way how to get everyone to kind of cycle in and out because you can only have so many people playing the game at once. It's not like uh, Fall Guys where it's just, Upwards of like 60 people can fucking play at once, so. Um, but everyone can still play in the audience from chat anyways, so it's not completely out of the, like, completely shut out. You can still be uh, a small part in the game. Uh, and then later on that weekend, so Sunday night, uh, I'm going to aim it for 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Train to Busan Watch Party. I'm very excited to watch this movie again. I think I've seen it like three or four times and but it's been a couple of years since the last time i've watched it um that and if you've never seen the movie and you're a fan of zombie films um or if you're not this is uh one of the better ones literally since the turn of the fucking millennium so oh i thought i was gonna sneeze there for a second i think i saved myself uh really quick just gave a cheers to everybody Welcome in. Thank you. Um, and for those here early, you may notice right above my head is a number three there. We actually got a third sub um, last night, and it was right in the middle of a vampire survivor's run I was doing. I said I would do it later. And then by the time I got out of that run, I was like falling asleep. So I'm like, oh, I'll save it for tomorrow. So, if you don't mind, I'm sure you don't mind at all because you all fucking love this. Uh, I'm going to go spin the wheel for one hot sauce. And it better not be 12. That's going to be 11. Nope, 15. Okay. I took the rest of the hot sauces out thinking I was going to get unlucky. Uh, 15. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a four nineteen. I can fucking see that one. Sixteen's that one. There it is. Bahan Star. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say this sounds fucking angry. Yeah, it's Kaven. Uh perfect for a hot sauce. <laughs> oh god. Excuse me. I don't know where the fuck that just came from. Anywho, um, <clears throat> 15. This is uh, Bahan Star right here. It's number 15. I'm going to cap it because I didn't shake it yet because <laughs> I'm a dummy. Hot sauce makes you yawn? No, no, it does not. <laughs> Being a slug on my couch for the last few hours makes me yawn. 
Okay. So this one is rated uh, hot. It has dill peppers, yellow mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Dill pepper mash, carrots, onion, horseradish root, mustard, vinegar, and spices. Uh, this one has a good kick to it, but also has some really good flavor to it, too. So, again, this is the Bahan Star from Gonzo Sauce. Oh, 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 oh. That fucking heat kicked on immediately. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I mean to look up dill peppers. I'm going to do it right now. While well, we're just hanging out here for a minute, and I try not to die. Dill pepper. The dill is a very hot pepper. Well, I think I know that now. God, can we just, like, minimize this? Yeah, so it's not as white. The dill is a very hot pepper. Variety of the species. Capsicum chinense. Capsicum sinens. Oh, it's a synonym. Okay. Dill peppers are cultivated throughout the United States and elsewhere, but it's majority are produced in St. Augustine, Florida. Okay. Many myths attempt to explain the origin of the dill pepper. Some suggest the peppers are brought to St. Augustine by indentured workers from Menorca in the late 18th century. Others posit that they were brought from Cuba around 1880 by a jelly marker named S.B. Valls. The dill pepper is a green, yellowish, golden, aromatic hot pepper, belonging to the species of Capsicum chinense, and is mainly produced and grown in St. Augustine, Florida. A mature dill pepper is three to four centimeters long with a blue tip. Blue, oh, blunt tip. I'm like, blue tip? What am I seeing here? A golden orange color and weighs three grams. Its taste is a mix of both hot and sweet. The name dill was derived from the Spanish and uh, Catalan language meaning date palm because the shape of a dill pepper resembles it. Um, and so in the hot scale of one to five, they rate it as a level four, very hot. Scoville scale is anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000 uh, Scoville units. <clears throat> to put in the perspective on things, the little nitro gummy bear that I did which if you haven't watched the YouTube video, go do that. It's like eight minutes long. You can do that while you're taking a shit. Don't even fucking lie to me. You're not looking at memes when you're on the hopper anyways. Come on. But anyways, uh, that, that gummy bear was 9 million Scoville units. Uh, a lot more than a dill pepper. But when you mix things together, that's also just one of those peppers. You mix up enough of those to make a sauce? Or... Uh, hello? Oh. Welcome in, sir. You just missed the hot sauce. It had the, uh... Um... What was it called again? Shit. The Bahan Star with dill peppers. I like how I have a hole in my hoodie. It's just... It's rough living. <laughs> this sewing kit. I could play. When was that Behemoth album that came out? I don't even recall when this song came out. Was it this I'm year? Bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. <laughs> You're gonna have an ulcer. <laughs> I don't even. I don't honestly don't even have that much of it. When did this? I gotta figure out when this album came out. Give me a second, everybody. I guess I could just be looking at title. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm just being a dummy. Let's see. It did come out this year. Oh, what the fuck? You click on the goddamn album link and it brings you back to the same fucking page. Stupid. Opus Contra Notrum. Notorum, whatever. Excuse me. I've been subbed to you longer than your own father. I'm your dad now. <laughs> There's a few people that have that claim then.
maybe it's not from this album. Oh, no, it is. Okay. It's the fourth track in. I don't remember this fucking album at all. It came out in September? I completely missed it. It's, I mean, it sounds like Behemoth to me. It's not like it would have made my end of year list. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, moving forward. Tonight, uh, we're returning to Puppet Combo Games. Haven't played any of these in a while. Um, but this one dropped right at the beginning of October. Uh, I tried. I wanted to make room for it during um, Jugtober. I just didn't know the length of it. So I decided to just kind of hold off. Um, but I'm very excited to play this game because this game has been talked about for well over three years at this point. Um, maybe closer to four years, if I recall. But... It's a game they've been working on for a long time. They got it done. And um, I've heard very good things so far. Uh, but I've seen very little gameplay. Like, I remember seeing gameplay, like a, like a GIF of gameplay in their Patreon page. <sighs> Thank you for the bits. Uh, and before we start, just really quickly... Um, if you're not already hanging out and subs to the Channel 13 Horror YouTube channel, I um, highly recommend you do so. Um, they'll do uh, some Just Play videos, but their big uh, big points are jump scare compilations. Uh, streamers like myself, Codename Power, uh, Scaredy Matt, Breakfast at Noon, Cartoon Head George, like on and on and on and on and on. Just so many of us. Um we're always in those videos, so uh, please sub to them. Watch their their stuff. They, I mean, their their compilation videos are fantastic. Um, and if you feel extra generous, there's also links there to join their Patreon if you're looking for some type of subscription model thing with some perks, or if you just want to kind of give a one time tip. Um, the stream elements there goes right to Breakfast at Noon. Um, he is the editor behind Channel Thirteen. Uh -uh. But enough of that i think we are ready to play stay out of the house from papa combo so uh let's go ahead and uh do the thing hello thank you oh now you're not gonna fucking do what i want you to do because you're a bastard there we go thanks a lot <laughs> yeah that doesn't sound good at all also, why the hell did the counter reset? I hate look, this. I gotta get a better counter set. The problem is this automates it for me, so it's nice. I don't have to worry about pressing a button. But damn, is it fuck up a lot. Um, so we would we should be at four. Oh god, here it comes! Oh, oh hot, 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 hot! hot Disregard this sound hot, effect. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> God, it must be over a hundred Kuriks! Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm... No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. All right, cool. So that's over. Um, let me get rid of that. It's not in the way. Okay. So, stay out of the house. Uh, I already took care of all the options. Um, I prefer to play this game kind of, like, visibly. I know it's technically supposed to look like this like a vcr but i feel like i just get like i get like headaches when i watch it like that so i shut the crt off and um i finished this video off just so it's, it's a little bit clearer just, all right let's go night shift prologue the house in part four question mark oh
part of that long like 12 hour stream I did back in December of 2020 for Thankmas um, it's before webcam and everything but I forgot it's technically like part of the prologue of this whole story then there's the actual prologue whatever that is the house and then part four is a question mark so you know what fuck it I want to play replay the whole thing you might not make it out alive you have a chance of surviving uh, let's do medium I like a little bit of a challenge and it was default so I consider that to be normal mode take the night shift yes because I don't know if they changed anything about this now could have very well taken it and, and made it a little bit different What time are you getting out? Oh my Six? God. They have voice actors now? Want me to pick you up? It's too far to walk, no, I'll get a ride. Yeah, it's too far to walk. Yeah, it's too far to walk. <laughs> As if. I'll be conked out by then. Thanks, Amber. I'll have a beer for you later. Have fun. Asshole. Well, this already looks a lot more solid, too. Like, everything's a bit more refined. They, I mean, they have the new Unity Engine version out, too. Shh, Nox, like, stop talking to your mirror. How you doing, buddy? Oh, it's the pinball machine. I'm like, what the fuck was that noise? Cats. Just in time. Hurry up and punch in. I've got a hot day tonight. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> You wish. Come on, I've got to go. Did you sweep the floor at least? No. Sorry, dude. I was too busy. Hey, Rick left Alyssa's side work to do on your ship. <laughs> now I've got to get out of here. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I can't find the keys anywhere. The bathrooms are locked up. So go behind the dumpster, I guess. Lovely. Hey, I'm just trying to be pragmatic. You should try it sometime. That's not pragmatic. <laughs> Fucking ding dong. Oh, Power Drill Massacre. I was gonna play this for a little. See you later, dude. Oh no, Jeff, wake up. Don't worry, I'll get help. What's this? That doesn't work. Find a key or something? Oh, here we go. No? <laughs> All these things have keys, but I don't find no fucking doors. Alright. I've lost interest. We'll play later. I gotta clock in. Regardless if this dude's gonna be on time or not. We got some cameras that don't work. Products. Refrigerator. There's another refrigerator over here, I think. Yep. Yeah, I remember this. I remember all of this. I need to need a time card to punch in. Okay. Mm -hmm. See a dirt bag. Wherever the hell you are. Alright. Hey guys, sorry the phone line isn't fixed. You'll have to bear with me until the repair guy comes. Don't worry, I'm not expecting any emergencies. Who is? <laughs> and you guys do a better job of side work during your shift. I expect this to be finished when I come by in the afternoon. Sweep the floors. Place items that weren't purchased back where they belong. Clean the bathrooms. Rick. Oh, wow. Okay, so I could have just done that. Great. Alright, well, let's, uh, where's this stuff that needs to get returned? I don't see anything. Rice cookers go wow, 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 All right, so where the hell is the broom in this bitch? Did I walk right past one? I did. All right. 
Kind of sweet. Do I have to be moving? Nope. Cool. <clears throat> Best job ever. <clears throat> so, Noxie, how you doing, man? I saw you were uh, taking tonight off. Jesus Christ. This is already a horror game. I hate it. <clears throat> That's your mom's car? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think her Jeep sounds like that. Excuse me. I am well. I'm just really mentally tired. Just took the day off for art and games. Nice. Witch broom. Oh. <laughs> You're funny. Can't I didn't pick that one up. I just figured there was a long delay. <laughs> And Dunzo. Good employee achievement unlocked. How do I fucking drop this thing? Oh, there's the stuff I gotta fucking uh, put away. All right, let's maybe put the broom back. Maybe they, you're a good, outstanding employee and you put things away. You, oh, I can just, okay. I just flicked the uh, mouse wheel. So now it's on my back or something. I right, we got some beer, chips. Can't carry any more items. Okay. Uh, chips, 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 chips. Oh, I just saw it. They're on the end end here. There's a customer coming. Okay, there's a customer coming. But do I have to? Turn the pumps on for a customer with this. Okay. Uh, excuse me. How do I drop a fucking item? V. Okay. I'll pick it up later. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, fucking mul <laughs> mullet mulligan over here. My God. Hi, can you give me $10 on pump five? Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <whistles> Jesus. Fuck. I'll go put these fucking chips away. Ah, right there. I see him. Boop. Alright, this one goes where the beer goes. My sprinkler goes like this. <laughs> God damn it. And comes back like. Where'd the motor oil go? Motor oil? I feel like it would be like on here somewhere, right? What the sh. Ooh. Oh! I just for chips. Car accessories. Okay. Cool. I think we've done everything. The list said to do sweep the floors, did it, place items that weren't purchased back where they belong, did it, clean the bathrooms. All right. But the bathrooms are locked, I thought you said. I can't leave the store. Okay. And this is locked back here? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Thank you for the biddies. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Yeah. I know. Alright, I guess we'll just go back to playing Power Drill Massacre. Coolest Pac-Man game ever. No, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, 
fuck. Ooh, I made it. I think a car just pulled up. A white van. Uh, hello. They just pulled in, circled around the front, and now they're just gonna leave? Did they realize they left their wallet at home? Okay, back to Power Drill Massacre. Oh, fuck. Double fuck, triple fuck, quadruple fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, shit. Wow. He was smart there. Uh, no, I'm not gonna bother playing. There's gotta be a way, maybe he fucking lost the keys or something. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. I mean, yeah, that's that's true. Ooh. We have a customer. There's a customer coming. Is it going to be the creepy guy? No, it's some some girl. Okay. Hi. Can I help Can I you? Help you? Yeah, I just need some cigarettes. Okay, which brand? Uh, Banshee Red, with, uh, filters. Why is it a fail horn? What happened? Uh, you want the reds, yep, mm hmm here's your Banshee Reds with filter. Thanks. Oh, hey, can I use the bathroom? I can't open it. She smokes. Oh, true. Well, that's weird. Good luck. Yeah, I'm just being honest. Have a good one. And she has to poop. <laughs> and she can't because the doors are locked. Alright. Can I go out now? Oh, I can. Or, or not. The door can swing all day, but I can't go outside of it. All right. Like, where's the fucking key for that? You would think there'd be a key somewhere. But also, how do you get into the safe over there? And like, God, whoever set this office up is just an absolute heel. Okay. It was fucking loud. This sucks. I like, I don't know where these keys are. I guess I'll just sit here and stare at the place. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Oh shit, you broke the 30,000 mark for total bits. You have a solid grasp of second place. You're... you're Way behind Tree. Tree's at 48,000 bits. And then Fry's got half of yours at 15. <laughs> yes, I did. I gotta make actual bit badges. Rather than just have the basic black star on the pink background. This van's back again. I'm like, what the hell was that noise? And I heard me freaking out to devour. 
Is the key in the register? I can't even open it. I don't believe so. I'll, I'll check it. How you doing, Tree? Welcome in, pal. If I sell anything, I could put the money in here. Yeah, it's nothing there. It's the gas pump. But yeah, these are... Uh, these games are supposed to look and feel like old PlayStation 1 games. Of course, I've shut the filters off and whatnot, so it's like a clear version of the game versus like you're watching an old VHS on a shitty fucking TV. Appreciate the lurk, buddy. I have, you're probably watching Survivor Series. I hope it's good, whatever's left of it. We please. We need a soda. Maybe we'll have some later. No, have one now. They've been sitting, the donut's been sitting all day. Gross. Can I have some beer? I can't drink on the job. Bullshit. Shuttle explodes. Nothing special. Okay. It's mostly porno mags. What? Those don't look like porn mags to me. That one might be. I'll all staying at my hotel. Oh, that's right. Oh, I wouldn't exactly call it entertaining. <laughs> yeah, it's on the AEW pay-per-view, as we both know. <clears throat> Alright, am I supposed to trigger something to happen here now? That the fucking van's come and gone? I'll try going out the back again. Still locked. Still nothing there. Still nothing in there. Hmm. Nothing interesting. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> I know I can't leave this door. Do I have to play more Power Drill Massacre? Maybe I have to. That was a rough spot for him to fucking just spawn into like that. Just fucking kill me next time. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's that blue key? Don't touch that dial. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, there's a customer coming. I saw him go out of the corner of my eye. Is this guy in a motorcycle or something? I don't I think he is, or I just don't remember. If I remember seeing this guy before, his uh I don't know if it's a helmet or an afro. Might be an afro. You're here all alone. Whoa. Oops. Thanks for the bits. No, my coworker's in the back. No, my coworker's in the back. Okay. Bye. Hope you enjoy whatever it is uh, you're gonna grab. Look at the fucking sideburns. <clears throat> well, look at them donuts. I wouldn't do it, dude. Want some scratch 
uh, lottery tickets, yeah. Scratchies, if you will. You want a hot dog? There's none there. Dude's just gliding. Shoplifter, you yeah, probably. Hi. Are you, uh, need any help? Hurry up and buy. Yeah, grab the beer. Grab the beer. It's always a good decision. Grab the beer. Yeah, my dude. <laughs> Knew it. Okay, he didn't say anything. Uh, go ahead. Bye. The dude's just walking. He's like, see you later. All right. Done with that. Like, at some point, this door is going to be unlocked, right? I need to be able to get to the bathrooms to clean them. There's no other way to get there. Those must be the bathrooms right there. Oh, yeah, these are the bathrooms. Look. I forgot I could jump in this game. Just can't get in there. Hmm. Weird. Well, back to Power Drill Massacre. Oh, there it is. That was close. More blood. Oh, I got stuck. Damn it. Hmm. Like, are we seriously just not able to do anything with this? Can we please move this broom out of the way? I'm just not liking its positioning. Thank you. No, it's out of the way. Fucking hell. Why did that door just swing back again? Oh, fuck. Shit. Anybody out there? Hello? It's not good if that door just swings open even though it was locked. Someone's got them keys. Probably need to bring the broom with me, right? Jesus Christ, he was inside the store this time. Ooh, when I played it before, he was in the back.
Roxanne. Oh, so this is the. Uh, so this is the actual prologue to Stay Out of the House, whereas like the night shift is like the opening scene of the movie. I get it. Lurk while I rage and smite. Thanks, you sussy spore, you. Meg, how are you doing? Every time I see keyboard, that makes me sad. Oh. Hope you're doing well otherwise. Fry, hope you're doing splendid today. Single wide trailer house. I'm good. Just hanging. This is God's truck. It's the Lord's truck. <clears throat> Dude, tripping balls. Very tired. Gonna look like I played Dreamlight Valley. Oh, enjoy. Thank you so much for the lurk. Am I waking back up? How long have I been out? Ooh, I'm starting to really come to now. Okay. Brendan? How's he not back yet? How long have I been sitting here for? Yeah, get out. <coughs> Fucking terrible timing, I hate you. It's not here. There's another... The fuck? Alright, this way to get into the woman's room. What about this way? What the shit? <laughs> Brennan's fucking driver's license is amazing. Brennan A. Wright. Bell Meadow Drive, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oh, God. Can we not do that? I don't like the realistic knocking. Yet. So he went back here. For whatever reason. Fuck is this place? Like a giant silo there? Seems like someone lost this. Gee. <laughs> Fucking dick. Thank you for the bits. Giant silos like a giant barn over here. At the beginning of this upcoming month, all work productions conducted at the Crawford Mill will cease to continue. Due to lack of business over the past year, the owners of Portia cannot afford to keep the mill open and running. Therefore, it will be condemned and sold to the state. They will either repurpose the building or demolish it. Furthermore, the owner of the establishment has been diagnosed with stomach cancer, likely due to radiation exposure. Himself and his wife will be moving away from Cedarville in hopes to find a better treatment center closer to the city. He sends his deepest apologies to all employees who have dedicated their time and efforts toward the betterment of this company. He may gather all belongings within the last week of production. Otherwise, they will be thrown out as the building gets clean before being condemned. Thank you all. Jesus. Where the hell could could Brandon have gone? Well, my volume is super quiet. It's good call. What the fuck? Hey, what up, doggo? All 
Alright, what? There's a teddy bear over here. Did the child drop this? I assume so. What, what do you want me to do? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Can we not do the gunshot noise while I'm staring at the dog? Alright, so the dog's not super helpful. He's gonna follow me, I guess? I don't know. He came from this direction. Come on, bub. Oh, this looks like there's a fence up here. Some message on it. Looks like we're on the other side of it. Alright, it's so not this way. Where's my pup? Alright, let's go for a run. Yeah, keeping up. Good job. We'll go the other way here. Oh, yeah, because here's some more stuff on the ground. Eyeglasses. Lost and broken glasses. There's a giant cornfield up here. Oh, fucking spare me. I hate cornfields. Is there a church out there in the edge of uh, the vision there, I think? Why would somebody drop their luggage? Um, shucks. Oh, it's time, baby. It's time, baby. Yo, scared cutie with the raid. The Welcome in. What's up? For about Damn, they got you good. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Makata uh, Mew crew. Welcome in. Get raided. Epileptic, epileptic dragon. <laughs> like I like these names. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm the Juggernaut. I appreciate you for being here. Scary. Uh, sorry. Scared, thank you so much for um, for the raid. What were you playing? I hope you're playing something good. Clicking cat. <laughs> God, we have a keyboard cat here already. Um, so I typically play horror games. Uh, we're doing Stay Out of the House, something I've been putting off for like almost two months. Um, why, I don't know. But I'm uh, very excited to play it. It's a puppet combo game. <laughs> Yo, Dead Zero, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob. I like the uh, creepy ass clown emotes. Very nice. Played some creepy clown games. Ah, I see. Apple Electric Dragon, welcome to the mob. Thank you for the follow. Uh, which, uh, which, creep, which creepy clown games you play? Makata Mew Crew, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the mob. I'm the Bihar Scream Queen, but I love the spooky games. Of course. Um, creepy clown game. I'm trying to think of what clown. That's got to be either Father's Day. Um. Uh. There's gonna be another one I could think of there. Uh, from Emeka Games. Find yourself. <laughs> Christ. Father's Day. Okay. Cool. Nice. 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 You love clowns. Summer of 58 is the same Emeka game. It's an Emeka game, but that's the, that clown's not in that particular game. Um, but a good game all the same. Clowns are good. Yeah, clowns are good in horror. Otherwise, I don't know. I just I don't know if I can really hang out with them otherwise. Power Drill Massacre. <laughs> so in the uh, we're in the prologue right now, but the uh, the Night Shift chapter that comes before it, they had the Power Drill Massacre, like, arcade game. We had to play that for a bit. How you doing, Riz? Well, I, I was at Riz Rise 171. You won't like me then? Oh, boy. It's because you like clowns? I don't know about that. We could be friends with that difference. So at this point, we're, uh, this dog found us. Very cute dog. And, um, 
We've been walking looking for who I think is our boyfriend or at least friend. He'd gone to the bathroom at a rest stop and he completely disappeared on us. Dead end. Hmm, so it is. I'm a part of the history division of the Council of Two States. Part of the history division of the Council of Two States. I don't know what that is. But if you're part of history, that's pretty pretty important. Father's Day is the product to find yourself. Once I get the game in working, I'll play it. Oh, yeah. They're both very good games. I would say Father's Day is probably a better story, where Find Yourself is just absolutely nonstop, balls to the wall, jump scares. It's, it's a fucking machine. Oh, Clown Council. Oh. So you're actually, are you actually a clown? Private property, no trespassing. Oh. I'm, my assumption is yes. Protect the dog. Of course. Yeah, doggos come first. I'm really playing it next then. Nice. No, I wish I was a clown. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So where the fuck else? I can't go anywhere else here. There's the church over there. Another silo over in that direction that disappears and I look. Scarecrow is sketchy. Sir, you're in the ground. <laughs> All right, we'll have to go back. There's gotta be something else in this main area, this old factory here. But I help many with their fear of clowns and the history of clowns. Oh, gotcha. Ads, oh no. I wanted to play this game you're playing now, I just bought it. Oh nice, have you played any other puppet combo games? They look very similar to this. This is actually, this is more on the polished side, actually, <laughs> to be completely frank, because usually they're uh, very PlayStation 1 graphics. I don't think there's anything else I can really get. No, it's, no, that's it. Doggo, where are we supposed to go, buddy? Add breakover. Oh, good. The ads are fucking dumb. And I can't go in here, I don't think. The sign's on the door saying everything's been closed and condemned. There's no doors on any of these buildings otherwise. The hell is that noise? Do you get scared by horror games? Um, I get scared by loud noises. Um, jump scares will get me. Some of them I kind of see coming and I can kind of shield myself from them, but there's been there's been some really good ones that have got me. I already followed you a while ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I'm trying to think of who... Because I may have rated you once before. And maybe that's where it, where it happened. I don't remember. <laughs> There's a reason behind this. What are the scariest games you've played? Um, well, I would say Visage was very scary. Um, we played two demos last night that I'm really, really looking forward to the full games. Um, the first one is Mannequin Hessler Storage. Um, if you don't like mannequins, it's the game for you. Uh, and the other one was Ludo, which is had like it's like a, um, you know stuck in a in a house, can't get out, changing rooms, very very PT influenced. Um, and uh, definitely some Visage stuff in there too. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, this is what, yeah, Visage is just, it was relentless, honestly. Um, but I, I couldn't look away from it. It was like a really bad train wreck. <laughs> um, and then, like, as a child, um, Resident Evil 2 scared the absolute fuck out of me. The first two Silent Hill games scared the fuck out of me. Um, what in the fuck was that? Oh. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Good.
God damn it. Oh, what mannequins is such a nope, but I want to play. Oh, yeah, you have to. I'm not a fan either, but it's it's such a must play. It's so good. I was on edge the whole fucking time. How did you get in there? <laughs> this dog is magical. All right, this must not be a real dead end. Is there an invisible wall somewhere? No? Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh! Okay. Found it. <laughs> Took a second. I was so close that whole time. Oh no, it's a m fucking maze. Fucking 32 bit labyrinthine over here. I saw a hole. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go this way. Hey, what other games we didn't really see? Oh, oh Madison was very good. Um, that one got me on more than a few occasions. And that came out this year. That's probably my top five favorite games of the year. All right, we made it out the other side. What is there to do here? Oh. Made it to the church. To all members of the Cedarville Assembly of God, this letter is to inform all parish parishioners the Cedarville Assembly of God of some unfortunately sudden upcoming changes to our standards curriculum. Being said with a heavy heart, our family of religious followers have turned elsewhere. There are few who still attend our service, while the rest have sought an opposing teaching nearby. However, the sanctuaries they found stray further from the Bible and from our God than I'd originally thought. In fact, they are not following the Bible. It is my understanding that their syllabus is full of nonsensical gibberish. I don't know who or what they are worshipping, but friends and colleagues of mine have started to treat me as a stranger, as if they cannot converse with me due to their new beliefs. I've dealt with threatening letters over the past few weeks, as well as an attempt at arsons on our beloved church. Last night, while eating with my family, a bullet was fired through my kitchen window. While I barely missed my head, it was completely obliterated. One of my f favorite paintings given to me by one of our choir members. This treatment and threats are things I cannot take lightly. And therefore, after collecting my belongings at the church, I'll be leaving town in search for a new place of worship. I do not wish to leave, but feel as if I have no choice. And I advise anyone who still comes to our church to join me towards our new place of hope and prosperity. Thank you for all your kindness and understanding during this time. It's not the right game, but good call. <laughs> Madison was good. Yes. Father and pastor, James Kindling. Okay, fucking dog. You can't scare me like that, dude. Come on, what are you doing? Okay. So, yeah, not only did he take his belongings, he took all of the pews and all of the benches. Actually, it looks like, like moss is growing through the cracks in the wood. This has been empty for a lot longer. Come on, pup. Oi. Eh. It's not my dog. I can't really be that worried about him. I mean, I should be that worried about him, really. Damn, I was hoping you had Faz PTSD. I haven't played Phasmo in a while. Um, if Noxler's still in here, the dude's an absolute fucking champ at it. And my fantastic mod and friend uh, bag of fry, I call her bag of fry. Uh, probably one, probably like the best fast player I've ever seen. I can't. Oh, I have to jump back up here. Okay. <laughs> Nox, Nodders. How many of that game is great? All right, so I think there's somewhere else I probably have to go then, within the maze. Let's try that. Yeah, this way was like a one-stop shop here. Okay, right here, there, that's a dead end, right? All right, we go this way, that leads back that way, this way is a dead end. I haven't gone this way yet. Opening, no? It's all the way down, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a little indent, okay. Different game, but reminds me of Huntress from DBD. Swear they never leave me alone. Jesus. God, why are you barking at me? Hey. I'm following, I'm following. You got someone sent? If 
Bye bye doggy. No, 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 bye bye doggy. What the fuck? Is this what you wanted to show me? That there's this van in the middle of fucking nowhere with a ton of shit hanging around? Weird, what happened here? Joanna Marks, I think her name is? Oh, God. Our mission, the goal of the Church of Father's Vision is to create a community abundant with repentance and salvation. We will help you obtain a growing relationship between yourself and the Lord, either one of our many days of worship in person or via weekly tapes which can be delivered to your doorstep. We seek to spread the message of God across the world to provide the unknowing, ignorant, or those in need with the everlasting life he has waiting for us all. Our pastor, Dr. James F. Bowe, is it butt-cheek? Is an authentic server of God since early childhood. A married man, father, and beloved pastor, he firmly believes in living by Christ through spreading his gospel, encouraging his neighbors to worship the Lord with him at the Church of Father's Vision. God in his goodness has called on me to preach to the world. My desire is to please and glorify him with my life, and I hope to join hands with the world and live by his word through worshiping him as one. Dr. Dr. James F. Bow. Dr. Bow and his wife, Margot Bow, holds service at the Church of Father's Vision each Sunday morning at 1115, located at 696 Savannah Lane, Georgetown, Kentucky, 40324. For VHS tapes and more, call 575-0990. The Church of Father's Vision, let us guide you toward righteousness. I ain't buying that at all. Why would someone leave this here? Why do you fucking think, Ding Dong? Discarded shirt. Hello? Is that heavy door knocking? Still fresh? Pants? How could someone lose their pants? Fucking easy, dude. Alright, dog. Let, let's go. There's nothing else here. I don't even know how the hell we got here. I know, actually, it was that way we came from. So let me just check this way first. It's a dead end. Well, that makes that easy. Pants getting caught in something. <laughs> okay, this way. I feel like we came from that way. That's a dead end. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other scary games I've played. The dead end, Jesus. Um, pretty relentless, and especially because you're doing a job, it makes me feel anxious. Um, the mortuary assistant, I had a good time with that. I got a good, uh, solid quality streams out of it, really. Oh yeah, good game. <laughs> oh fuck. I think I found the house. Yo, that scarecrow was just wigging out there for a second, it looked like. Let me go the other way first. I, the game's called Stay Out of the House. Let's, uh, let's agree to that for now. Creepy ass fuck. <laughs> Smart. I'm actually planning to become a mortician. Oh, really? That's cool. Like, I know it was never a job that I thought about doing or, like, studying for, but people that are, like, into that and, like, and want to learn about it, I think is a, it's really important because, like, it's, it's not many jobs are, like, I really want that job. But, like, that's a job I feel like not many people want, so the ones that want to do it, it's, like, I don't know, I just, I, I appreciate that because it's, you know, jobs got to get done, you know? Knew someone who used to be one? Oh. It's kind of like an art form, too, if you look at it that way. It's popular now? Oh, I'm, well... I guess with, if anything, I would assume the pay is pretty fucking decent. So if, if all things else, like, at least you got that. And this is weird. I can. This is a whole different hallway. 
that uh, probably behind one of those locked doors all right let's approach the house mainly embalming oh worked at the haunted house in october that's cool what the All right, all right, all right, all right, hold on. Fallout shelter. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. God damn it. It's called stay out of the house. We're not supposed to go in it. No. Motherfucker. I hate this. Stay out. I'll get you out of there. Is he in a trap or something? Interesting looking bike. Lead door. Keypad. Doesn't have power. Interesting. Well, everything's locked. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ah, fuck. It's too late. I am what they call boned. Oh boy. Not a single item in that. Option to hide there. I just saw that. Good to know that exists, but why? Shows a severed head. Oh, God. Old house. No dog. Poor dog. Solo queuing MOBAs is mentally taxing. Gross, dude. I don't know why the fuck you're even playing that game. I thought you were going to be playing Zero. Zero Seepers. Oh my fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> Ayo, what the fuck, dude? That man said bonk. And that's the prologue. Then we're now into the technical first chapter of the game. He sent you to horny jail. Son of a bitch. Oh, we're doing the credits first. Susie the Sphere Hunter. I'm surprised you didn't get that cool fucking synth wave intro like the other games they have oh that's uh weird most don't advertise haunted they mainly advertise acceptance of all religions and willing to do the funeral ritual that is legal for any religion in order to get as many customers as possible that's fair <laughs> what the fuck back to smite all right enjoy enjoy the man thanks for the lurk fuck off thanks for the pits Can't turn it off.
good God. Fucking spare me. Why is the screen getting red? Am I not supposed to look at that? Or maybe I am. Because of TV. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. <clears throat> What's the worst thing that could happen? Die? <clears throat> Excuse me, Jesus. Parents always said it's bad for your eyes. It's true. Just sit too close and your eyes will get stuck. CFB achievement unlocked. <laughs> oh, God. Sacrifice. Oh, now I'm getting dragged somewhere, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Sounds like hard sex, oh. My word. Sacrifice achievement unlocked. I'm assuming that's one of the endings. Nice. Foo cat. Fuck it, 103. I didn't recognize any names, but I figured I'd look. Yeah, I don't have anyone there. Bro, are you enjoying this? I guess so. I just want to see if it's going to do all the things, because I'm like, my name will be in there. Zombizzle. Blood machine. <laughs> Interesting set. Hey, I know a Nick Bissett. Opening song in car. Oh. I just wanted to see. It. Uh, come on, can we go faster? Can I just skip this? Escape? Okay, I can escape. Ah! Soma! Welcome in. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Can I please? Get past this window. Hello? Uh, well, I got one of the very quick endings in the game, apparently. Like, without doing much. Enter, space, escape, tab, shift, caps lock. <laughs> doing them all. R oh, there we go. I hit something, and it worked. I have just tilled around a bit in Star Citizen. They have a free play until the 30th. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's, uh... I can't load the game from there. Okay, so it's gonna load from part three, the house. Medium, continue. Enter the house. I'm on Hitman 3. Okay. Can we skip past the opening credits, please? Thank you. Alright. So we're back here again. Like, this is, we're supposed to get to this point. So I know that this... I don't have to redo the previous chapter. So Alpha's fuck. Like, I will absolutely not be playing an introductory $45 for an Alpha State game. I don't blame you. That sounds like shit. Like, yo, dim long credits. Oh, and they haven't even got to the special thanks yet. Which my name will be in. <laughs> I can't... 
touch. I can't like press anything. Nothing. I Guidance. What is this used for? You know what it's used for. Uh, this isn't doing anything different. Mm. Stare at this. It's been in development since 2010, apparently. Oh, God. Like, get your shit together. You already poured five mil into it from crowdfunding. Where is the game? Yeah. See if you can use the bucket. Yeah, I can't. Like, I click it, and it's just giving me the other text pop up. Anywho, I hope you're well. I'm, I'm doing good. See, it was a uh, nice, relaxing day. Got my snowblower and my brand-new generator back that wasn't working before. Unfortunately, was figured out. And for the most part, just hung out, did a bunch of clipping from last night. And uh, that's pretty much it. I watched an interesting movie. I think it was called The Extinction. Michael Pena was the uh, main character. It's supposed to be like an alien invasion movie. And it's a little bit more than that. It's kind of an interesting twist. You have Netflix, it's on there. It wasn't bad. It's like an hour and a half, I think. Oh, love and pace. While that's just doing nothing, I want to take a look at these other achievements. Since I have a second. So, how many? We've got five of 27. Oh my god. Bad customer service. Make a customer walk out during the night shift. Wow. Um, there's a lot of things here that we can apparently do. But nothing that's clear on what to do at this point in the game. I think I just sit here. Yeah, it's crazy. I think after that long, they would have something. But then again, I've heard jokes about Ark always being on beta. <laughs> uh, Escape from Tarkov. Which I used Live to or die. Make your choice. That just sounded like it was behind me. Very well done, Dragon. <laughs> nice. Can I please get out of here? I fucking beg you. <laughs> like, I I legit can't... I don't think I could interact with is the bucket and the TV. Can I zoom in on the bucket? Would that make me, like, piss or something? Guess not. So this is some type of sliding door. And this sliding door, I got a closet, another door, wardrobe, desk lamp. Um, can't grab anything here. There's no button, I can't turn it off. And there's like a dark corner over here, I can't see shit. Whatever happened to that dog? I don't know. I think he fucking just took off upstairs. Maybe it's their dog. You never know, I guess. Although I don't think that's super accurate. Because he wouldn't have been growling at his own front door, right? Hello? It's on a fucking loop. What the fuck? Let me out. 
There has to be something I can do in here. You have a point of plus a doubt they'd trap their own dog. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> this is absolute fucking torture if this was if I was in this position. Wish it had come back and help you or something. That'd be nice. Sees the happiness. Do what a lot of mental patients do, headbang without metal. <laughs> There's got to be something. I guess it's as good as mine. Like, I don't have an inventory. Is the you simply need to see that happiness, the one that's already been set before you, and help us create that. Reload gun, yeah, I could use that right about now. Yeah, I got nothing. Status is fine, no paper clips, no bullets. With a bit of patience, with a bit of patience, someone's gonna come over here and open this fucking door and let me out. How about that? Would you be surprised? They probably took it off you. For the love of God. Somebody, please throw a toothpick at me or something. What's shining on the desk? I have no idea. I think it's inside the desk. I can zoom in. I'm trying to clicking, trying to click it. Like, I can't reach it. I'm in, stuck inside this fucking cage. And there's like no. The seemingly. Okay. I don't know what that means. I thought that was going to be it. I was so excited for something to happen. And they fucked me over again. 
join us, body and spirit. It's a perfect world. Okay, Farquad. You have a thought? Go ahead. I'm all ears, or eyes rather. to find it before you get captured well I didn't have a continue game and if it if that chapter mattered I wouldn't be able to just start from this chapter in the same spot you know what I mean maybe use your imagination imagination hmm Yeah, I checked inventory because the guy mentioned to use the tools in front of you, and I'm like, oh, what's in my inventory? Nothing. <clears throat> yes, it loaded me in the cage uh, for this chapter. Yeah, I got beat with like a hammer at the end of the previous chapter, which is the prologue. Like, there's nothing I can even click on here. Except for the TV and the bucket. Ugh, I can't do anything with the bucket. Oh, look. I'm leaning outside the cage. That's cute. Can I do that in here? And then grab? Oh, that's so fucking cheap. Except it's not... It's not in that drawer. It's in the next drawer, I think. Oh, that'd be super fucking cheesy if I could do that. Oh, oh I can't. A lamp made of flesh. I thought that looked like stitches. Uh, fuck. Fuck. The only one of that drawer. That sucks. Can't do anything with that. Or the chair. Some some guidance. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. I can't hit the light switch from here or the door. And help us create that perfect world. That world. Alright, well I tried cheesing it. And it's not working that well. Fuck. Mm. Like, is, is maybe, is my game broken? Is that a potential? <laughs> Perfect world. Uh. Uh. Sammy Main, would you like assistance? Uh, yes, that'd be fantastic. I've, uh, I don't know if you've been lurking this whole time. I already stared at the TV long enough to die. The top of the cage is bent. Where? Oh, son of a bitch. I could bend the cage here to escape. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Sammy. Appreciate you. Ah, lighter. That's locked. Can I hide in here? No. Nope. Ooh. Closet door that connects two rooms. What the fuck is... Oh, it's a mannequin. Because of course it is.
Night Shift abductors strikes again. Mill Creek, Oklahoma. The gruesome realization of the incompetence of a once trusted police force shines its head once again after the sixth in what can now be considered an undeniably connected series of kidnappings from late night shops and 24 hour restaurants across a large portion of western Oklahoma. As of last night, 34 year old Deborah Kopiski is the latest victim of the notorious night shift abductor that's had a considerable presence in terrifying our communities over the last four weeks. Though initially thought to be unrelated disappearances, three locations show video evidence of the same abductor at multiple locations between Custer County and its surrounding areas. Yeah, wow indeed, Fry. Wow, just wow. The amount of people that waited for 10 minutes and then closed the game. <laughs> um, yeah, it's at that one, it's a very, very well-hidden detail. Damn. Because I was looking at the top corners. If I had looked a little down, I may have seen it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All six abductions have had very similar circumstances. Typically, the employee was alone on the shift in the dead of night and was confronted by the assailant after a period of observation when the venue was in a period of little to no business. The victims were assaulted via a blunt object before being rendered immobile or unconscious and being removed from the store into what could only assume to be an unmarked vehicle the van though only three moments of video evidence have been provided the police and state investigators have finally conceded that the string of kidnappings were likely all performed by the same assailant the night shift abductor is the as the moniker has been provided it's a large built adult male assumed to be in his mid to late 30s standing roughly 6'4 and assumed 250 pounds Jesus very few other details of the assailant are known as his identity is well concealed during the assaults via a makeshift burlap mask and thick seasonal clothing. A definably odd feature is that the kidnapper also has been noticed as wearing a heavy rubber apron at the scenes of the last three of the six apparent kidnappings. Police sketch artist has made out a rough look at the assailant's appearance and are making anyone in the public who sees this man report his whereabouts immediately to the local officials. Police in the public school police and the public should be on the lookout for anyone matching this notably odd appearance during any late night outings they may be on as the habits and patterns of the of the abductors crimes are not fully identified but make no mistake these incidents do not appear jesus they've got really messy at the end here it appear to be slowing down how much longer are we to expect this slow and productive case to continue with so little evidence to be shown after such a rash and violent attacks if we continuing it brings to light that ripped well, that's something was a match 4v5 someone on my team dc during loading and we won the guy never came back wow Ooh. thank you valid customer for your purchase your brand new lock has a preset code which cannot be changed we advise storing this paper so you will always have your combination your locks code is four question mark six two great Please contact us if you have any issues. Telephone hours are from 8 p.m. to 4 p.m. Weekdays when you're closed on weekends. Thank you again and enjoy your new lock. If someone could put four question marks, six, two in chat, that'd be fucking cool. Congrats. Stinks about the guy, though. Spore, that works. Thank you. It's old and faded. I can't read every number. Okay, well, that's interesting. chair Ooh. this is uncomfortable you're fucking telling me <laughs> thank you clicking cat zero four five one fry was playing somebody's version of Aram, so it wasn't too bad That's locked. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's made of skinned corpses. Could you no fuck it. It's just it's it's stuck. We're done here. A bullet. Awesome. Bullet with a name on it. What is that? 
Let's see how much light's in the area. Alarm, oh, I can set an alarm in the alarm clock. That's fun. It sets at nine o'clock, should I remember that? I'm going to. Oh, the padlock right here. It's a shag rug, oh my God. Like you want to shag that rug. Dahmer would disagree. <laughs> Four something six two. Let's go right around. We'll find it. Two. Cool. A screwdriver. Nice. Sound meter. Does it pick up my sound? No, it doesn't. Okay. Emergency gas system. I have a lighter on. I think that's a bad idea. I'll also take this off now. Will give me more ways to get out. We have the name of the game is stay out of the house. Why are you in the fucking house, Jug? Easy. A dog ran in that I found and he decided that he was going to run in and when he ran in he fell, he got stuck in a bear trap and started crying and I can't say no to a fucking dog in, that's in distress that's why some scary gas mask man beat your skull in with the hammer I mean for sure but I had my reasons that poor doggo would what the f fuck is this okay it flips both ways good let's read chapter one the bare necessities they say expect the unexpected for many reasons any person's individual circumstance will always further determine what one might need when faced with danger in this chapter we will discuss the necessary means of having or obtaining goods such as food or water as well as medical tools and treatments even if any emergency it is most important to have at least one of those two things Several of the two into categories undergo further explanation. One, food and water. Two, medical tools and treatments. Jesus. We all flip both ways. Come on now. <laughs> Good Lord. Food and water. It's important to stay hydrated whenever possible. Otherwise, dehydration can lead to mild or major bodily complications, such as fatigue, dizziness, confusion, or extreme thirst. Having something to eat on your, on your person at all times is just necessary, as you never know in what circumstances you might need it. Non-perishable and high-protein food items such as nuts, granola bars, and canned soups or chilies are great examples that, that can be used in any needed situation. Making sure you're hydrated and well-nourished will allow you to regain strength, stamina, and awareness, which could all be key factors towards saving your life during an emergency. Medical tools and treatments. If you find yourself injured, whether it be from a gnash in the skin or a sprained ligament, it's always important to have bandages and or medicines. Without the proper equipment, it will be much more difficult to recover from your injuries. Some examples of different types of bandages that are good to have on your person are conforming bandages, self-adhesive bandages, and elastic bandages. Each are used to perform treatment for different types of wounds, which we will explain more about in Chapter 11. Same examples of medicines necessary are pain relievers such as uh, I always mispronounce that one. Uh, Acetamino acetaminophen. Nope, that's not right, but okay. Or aspirin, as well as sanitizers, ointments, saline solutions, and more, which will also be discussed further in Chapter 11. It's Tylenol. Yes, correct. <laughs> Videotape. Oh, it's a save game. Oh, I like that. You can't save the Cetaminophen. 
acetaminophen. Is that right? That doesn't sound right. That's clever. Yes. All right, there's another way to go over here too. Yeah, this way. What the fuck? Oh, he's bashing the shit out of that. Damn, dude. Thwack, thwack. Words are hard. Definitely a kill room. Kareen, hello! Um, I'm doing well. I'm, uh, witnessing the, uh, I don't know what, what he's doing with those parts, but he's doing something. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Was that a subliminal message I just saw? It said deliver. Too small to pass through. There's nothing I can do on the sides. Okay. Am I supposed to look at this dude? He's chopping something on the table. Looks like it's littered with severed body parts. Sound meter's not very good. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a rat down there. Alright, well, fuck that way. Tired, but alright. Uh, gotta get a good night's sleep, for sure. Rat's just chilling. I don't think popping out in front of the butcher is a good idea. Yeah, no, for sure not. And I really wanna... Oh, here. I really want to press this button. Okay. Now I know that it does that for sure. Oh, those are nails. I can't use a screwdriver on that. I need a hammer. Fuck. Oh, God, I'm back here again. Chair, cardboard boxes. I check these other drawers just in case. Okay. Oh god, that's a fucking head. Nailed in, I can't move it. Yeah. What's this way then? Locked door. Huh. I've done this room. Because the closets are connected. As such. Hmm. A lamp made of flesh. Checked all that. Hmm. Hello. God Do you want to play a game? I thought he decided to leave his post and find me. Alright, so I guess my best bet is to set an alarm in that one room. I'll put it here. What current time is it? Oh, I probably have this set for nine o'clock, don't I? 
small hole in the vent. Mm, that's a good idea. But I was also thinking it might work if he runs over here and I hide around the corner like this. And then I come around because he's probably going to be coming from this way. Oh, wait, no, he wouldn't. This is where I was. Shit. I don't know where the stairs are. I guess these are probably the stairs then. I will take your idea here, and I will run with it. Ooh. Tool time. Can't put it in the hole. <laughs> All right, I'll put it here. I'll set it for nine o'clock. Um, nope. It just does it probably in timeout, so thirty seconds. See how well this works. Bruh, what up, corn? Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well, man. What was down the other direction, down the vent? Um, it's like a save room. Did he leave? He did. Can't open this though. Oh shit, there's another way to go over here. I didn't know that. Jesus fucking Christ, epileptic. How are you? How's your weekend going? It's going well, it's going well. Uh, today was a pretty chill, relaxed day. And I get to play a not very chill game. You know, it's all good. <laughs> By the way, Corn, have you played the, um, the Mannequin Hessler Storage or Ludo demos yet? I played them last night. They are terrifying. Feels like I've been locked in this house for weeks, but it's only been a few days. I'm losing track of time. I hear Willing coming from under the house. What is he doing down there? I can't I can't be thinking about that. There are tunnels down there. It looks like they were went on forever. Oh, you'll be another fun streamer to horrify. <laughs> I tried to escape, but he caught up me with that damned radar. He locked me back upstairs, but I saw wait. wait caught me with the damned radar he has a radar he locks me back upstairs but i saw where he keeps the radar locks it in the closet combination was five two nine one all right someone write that down five two nine one can't forget that number i'm gonna try to escape again tonight five two nine one rats oh look, there's a fucking camp oh shit he's got a camera there that's interesting. What's this way? Thank you, Fry. Thank you, Clicking Cat. Soma and Epileptic are jerks. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fall down there yet. Let me go check the other way. Another hole is too small to pass through. And this also drops down. Oh, which way do we drop is the question. Oh, I can jump and grab that. That's pretty cool.
with videotape. Use that to save. Wait, something was in there. Bullet. I was gonna put up a clicking cap, put it four two oh six. Does it have a name on it? Or I thought the tape was there for another reason. No, I think it's just to save. <laughs> Fucking grandma. I wasn't I'm not crouched that's why well I think I'm good at this point <laughs> I need to practice this though fucking Christ I went through a whole ad break I'm trying to figure this out Oh, yeah, you have to be crawling while up there. Okay. We'll drop down the other side. Looks like a staircase. Oh, it's the main area. The dead fuck. It's locked. Christ. It's just like the fucking nun game. Woohoo! An anonymous gifter gave Epileptic Dragon a tier one sub? Wow. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Appreciate you. Don't touch that dial. Thanks, whoever. Someone's in the drain? Something in the drain, okay. I have to get pulled it out somehow so I gotta find something that can do that. Paper clip? Can't reach it. Okay, so I have to find something that'll do that for me. Appreciate it, male, female, or non human. Tch. Good luck. Oh, 
the love of God locks oh please stay closed hammer don't like that at all I'm gonna leave the uh, that here. I need the hammer. Another bullet. I can't swing this thing. That is fucking shit here. That clause doesn't connect anything, but it's a good hiding spot, I guess. Shit. 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 It's too complicated to pick. I need the key. Oh. Is this a big circle? Yeah. Sick. And this brings me back to this room. Okay. She went through the closet. Pretty sure smash a bunch of things gonna call out old stabby. I don't want to smash and pull the nails out. Fucking asshole. I don't know how she got upstairs either. That's also a very good point. Should we roll in your hate trying to catch Grandma riding dirty? Yeah. Beats me. Unless they have one of those little elevator things like from Gremlins. I don't need this. I'm very confused other Really? Oh shit. Yo, that dude got fucked up. I don't even fucking use this thing yet. I'm just gonna drop this here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Whoo. Char gloves catching grandma's riding dirty. Yo, calm down. I don't know if that's you from the first part. Uh, good possibility. He's got me pinned down here. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of this one. He waited until I was out of bullets and nailed the door shut. There's a hatch on the floor, but I can't get through. I'm weak and lost a lot of blood. He got me pretty good with the hammer, but couldn't put me down. He's been killing us one by one, keeping us in the cages outside. Bugs uh, bugs are biting all night, waiting until we're weak, then coming like an executioner to finish us off. I wasn't weak enough and charged him. He's got superhuman strength. I don't know what's behind that mask. I just barely got away. 
living in the ventilation shafts, like he forgets what is happening every few hours because he stops looking for me after a while. He's not smart. There's something wrong with his mind, but fuck, he's strong. I got lucky and found a gun after a few days. I tried to shoot the lock out in the front door, but it's indestructible. I don't know where the key is, but escaping that way seems hopeless. He went crazy when he heard my gunshots. I tried to kill him, but the bullets didn't do much good. I hid back in the fence, but he turned on some sort of mustard gas to get me out. Oh, yeah, that's true. After the incident, he... Yeah, fuck off. After the incident, he put a security camera up to try to catch me, but I shot it out. This is important. If you're reading this, because you escaped too, under the sink in the kitchen are wire cutters. I didn't take them at the time because I couldn't carry anything else with me, but the next day he tied the cabinet up with a rope. I couldn't find anything to cut it open. I saw some rubbing alcohol locked up. If I had another chance, I'd burn the rope off. You could use those wire cutters to cut the power or cut the wires of any security camera without having to shoot them out. Oh, there's the granny too. She can't hear or see very well, so I didn't bother wasting my bullets on her. There aren't many around. My head is starting to hurt bad. I'm going to lay down for a while. I'll write down everything else I remember when I wake up. Oh, you didn't make it. I really want to kill that grandma really bad because she will not fuck off. Oh, what do we have here? Whoa. There's another flash of a word across the screen. It looks like it said another. Is it, oh, mother? Okay. Delivery mother. Hell yeah. Look out some of the wood, uh, some of the nails I can't take off. What is this? There we go. Oh, it's a dead rat. Huh. Oh, boy. Mother, tell your children not to come my way. Oh, God. Benedict's revolvers and automatic pistols. Join millions of other Benedict's gun owners in defending yourself the right way. The new Lockwood revolver has a double-action design. It comes in 44 caliber with an 8-inch nickel-plated barrel, blackstone front sights, and a smooth walnut grip. Never fired a gun before? It's no problem with the Benedict's. Simply press R to stop. Examine the gun. Slide out the cylinder. Place new bullet in each of the six holes. Slide it, slide it back in, and you're ready to go. Remember, you have six shots, so make them count. Uh, a bunch of other information there. Too small to pass through. Another hatch. Food bucket? Drinking water? What the fuck is this place? Oh! We have a trip wire here. What's this? A rock? Try to divert some attention. Oh, this is upstairs. I know where I am. Okay. Think I can jump that? I made it. Oh fuck you closet door.
paper clip. Another bullet. Another bullet. How do I use a paper clip? There's a tape sitting in there. I just saw that. Should probably save the game at some point, too. Drain cleaner. Oh, shit. A nuke bunker, yeah. So a nuke bunker. Really, you gotta have a screwdriver with the paper clip. Put granny down. That or a body pin. Drain cleaner probably for blood. Makes sense. I know. I think there's a there's a drain that's backed up in the bathroom upstairs. We have to check that out. Locked out of your apartment and missing your key. No matter the place or time, this short lockpick guide is designed to give you all the knowledge you need to successfully pick a lock. While you might not have access to something like a locksmith toolkit, there are other objects you can use to your advantage. Something as simple as a paperclip and hex key. Lock picking is relatively simple. You need one tool to place the base of the lock cylinder to turn it, provide torque, and a thinner object to push in the lock's pins. Using our previous example, a makeshift lockpick set could consist of using one hand to turn the hex wrench, or using the other hand to rotate a paperclip until the right position is found to make the lock turn. Be careful, turn the hex wrench too hard. You can wear it down and snap the paper clip, so you must work slowly. Finding the correct angle of the paper clip can be tricky, but keep at it, and soon you'll be picking simple locks in no time. Just try not to break all your paper clips. Diagram below is to show what it would look like if you were to use a normal lock pick, but the idea is still the same by slowly raising those pins while supplying torque. You're now learning. Right, okay. It's locked, so he can't even come in here. There's a battery in there. Strange. I actually know how to pick locks. I when I was a kid. You gotta have a screwdriver and a bobby pin or paper clip. Yeah, so I have a, a flathead screwdriver and I have two paper clips. But I don't know how to select the paper clips. That's the problem. Unless there is use paper clip button. Yeah, I don't see any. Alright, well for now. Are you serious? Where did that just go? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I know what I can do with this. What's happening here? My head. Anything about Lockman comes from TES or shows. 
I do it for simple stuff. Body pin works. I actually locked myself out of my mom, uh, my room as a kid. Dental scrapers do work good. Flat screwdrivers are more durable though. Train, train, train. <laughs> Quiet, you. I would never want to stay out of your house, Chucky. Oh, thanks. Rye. Oh, good night, Fry. Thank you so much for hanging out as always. Hope you're feeling better. A little bit more each day, and I hope tomorrow's even better than today. Okay, I don't remember where this fucking drain was. Where is the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? that way. <gasps> of course, my screwdriver's not here. He was smart enough to put it on a fucking trap. Little bastard. This is the wrong bathroom. I need a hex key and a paper clip to pick it up. Okay, so I have to have a hex key. Shit. Paper clip. Nothing else there, though. Oh, the bandages are there, yep. Yeah. Another videotape. Shit. To me, in the bottom left, I see it said GM. Does that stand for a grandma meter? <laughs> Maybe. This actually does light, so if I shut the, this off, light goes all the way down. I turn it back on, it goes back up. I don't know how to change what's in that hand. I think that just automatically is always there. Very nice try with the approaching footsteps again, epileptic. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. 
No. Leave me the fuck alone, Grandma. Just just sit fucking still. Yeah, no shit, huh? There was a fucking bathroom up here. I'm telling you all there was a bathroom. I don't know where the fuck it went, but I had a bathroom. Yeah, I know we have to keep looking. Is that spot from the main staircase area? They call it the belt. Yeah, I think it might be right here. No, this is another bedroom. Regular closet. Yeah, I've already been through here. Right here. Ah. For the love of God, close. There we go. Doors won't work like that, Chuck. Oh, they do. The object was dislodged. Okay. Not that. Is this an older game? No. What the fuck, dude? No, this game came out in, um... October. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, sir, sir, sir. Uh, she is. She's blind and hard of hearing, fortunately. I don't know where he is. I can't see. Note did say she was bad at vision and hearing. Yeah. Fuck. I need to remember how to save the game. I had to get back in the vents. So I have to go to the other side. Here's Ding Dong. Fuck. Fuck. The fuck. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. Thank you. Another rock. Uh, no. I think the right's the- we'll go to the right to the save spot. Yeah, because there's that fan. I wonder if I could do anything with that fan or if it's just kind of like... Sometimes you can kind of look at- I can't pass with the fan on. Maybe there's a way to shut it off. Oh yeah, cut the power. That's right. Okay. Need the tape. 
I have more drain cleaner. Saving the game. Okay. Oh, fucking God. Oh, unfortunately, it is past 1 a.m. Um, here on the East Coast, the U.S., and I am starting to get a little tired. Not that this game isn't really good. This is this is everything good about Nun Massacre and then just taking it to the next step, which is great. Um, but I think this is going to be where we leave off for today. There we go. Um, so yeah, so thank you all for hanging out. Um, super appreciate you all. You rock, Chuck. No, you, Soma. Um, again, th thanks. Uh, thank you so, so much for all the new, fo the new followers today. Uh, no, you, Chuck. <laughs> the new followers today from everybody uh, that came over with the Scared Cutie Raid. Um, really quick. If you haven't followed Scared Cutie, please do so. I'm going to kick off a quick shout out. You should see a button up at the top um, of your chat that says uh, join us in following Scared Cutie. You can press that heart button and start following, uh, which would be super cool and I totally appreciate it. No, everyone, Chug. <laughs> um, so let's see. Um, Tomorrow night, I may take off. Um, I feel like I have an album review to do, and I really need to get video editing done for next Wednesday. So I'm going to take tomorrow off. Um, oh, shit. When did we reach five resubs? When did that happen? I got that anonymous gift earlier. Die Trump die with the resub. That's two. We started with three. Oh yeah, we started with three, so that makes sense. Yeah. Well, uh, don't go anywhere, anybody. Uh, I have a Steam game to give away. <laughs> Shit. I'm glad I just caught that. Uh, give me one second. Yep, me. Yep. You got the gift. That's true, true. Let me just start up my... Uh, what we do for the giveaway here? I'm going to nuke the music in this thing here. But uh, no, no spin 12. We're not spinning shit. No, 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 no. We're doing King of the Pit. So... When this starts up, all I have to do is do exclamation point dance. Here we go. So exclamation point dance to get in. And then once the actual mosh pit starts, you can do exclamation point bottle to throw bottles at the moshers. Um, this is a Steam game giveaway. It'll be your choice between Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and Labyrinthine. Those are two we have left over from our um, Jugtober extravaganza from October. 40 seconds for anyone else that isn't in here. We only have four people in here. Soma, Sunken, Clicking Cat, Noxler. Yes, fellow Metalhead, of course. Come on, Epileptic, join this shit. Here we go. Anyone else? 20 seconds. Get a free game. 
Type exclamation point dance in the chat right now. Jug, answer me. The bottle to launch bottles. Yes. Yes, it is. Ten more seconds. I thought that we were going to have it. Two, one. Here we go. Bottles be throwing. Blood is spilling all over the dance floor. All five are still in. One's down. Ow, ah. Two. Oh, Soma wins the game. That happened quickly. Congrats, Soma. We'll kill that off, and I'll go back over here. Uh, well done, everybody. So, Soma, would you like Amnesia the Dark Descent or Labyrinthine? Some two steps harder than the rest of us. <laughs> True. Must have with the spin kicks. <laughs> Absolutely. This will be my first spooky game. Yeah, either way, it's a spooky game. Uh, Amnesia is a good single player game if you just want to play by yourself. Uh, Labyrinthine, you could also play solo, but it's much better with uh, uh, multiplayer with friends. Labyrinthine, okay. Let me grab this. I'm going to go and... Oh, I know what this is. Is this chat pile? It is. <laughs> I know things. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So much extra. There you are. Labyrinthine's key is in your DMs. When I'm in the pit, I'm going to punch and kick when I'm in the pit. <laughs> oh, wait, no. You want the solo one? Did you change your mind? I'm sorry. I can switch it. It's okay. Just let me know. I'm gonna fuck up your shit. My word. Let me try solo one. Okay. We're gonna pretend that you didn't see the labyrinthine one in your DM. And I'm gonna give you Amnesia the Dark Descent instead. There you are. Okay. Save that file. So we got one game left to give away. Um, so when we when this number up here turns into 10, I'll give it away. I don't use the code, and I will delete it. Oh, yeah, I already deleted it, but okay, cool. No big deal. Real big fish. Thank you for not moshing. <laughs> God. All right, awesome. Well, thank you all. Uh, again, I appreciate all of you. Epileptic, uh, you were in here. Uh, we had Clicking Cat was in here. Both of you were in here from the um, the Scared Cutie raid, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much. We also got um, that really, really big hint and helpful hint earlier. And now I, now my... Oh, my memory is totally shot on who that was. And chat won't go all the way back. Time to give quick 10, lols. Um... We got the super helpful stuff earlier, so that was cool. Uh, but regardless, anyways, um, I'm done for tonight. I think we'll be back on Monday. I'm going to play some more of this. This is actually really fun. It happens. <laughs> it does. Um, especially my forgetful brain sometimes. Let's see who's on. Got a few people. Okay. We've got... Creepy Pestero playing not Pac-Man. Is this even horror? <laughs> we have Kareen is on playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, Wheeler's playing Trombone Champ. Oh, winner. We're gonna go, we're gonna go hit up Wheeler. So Wheeler Dealer, good friend of mine. Jugs on more like the fraud or not. Wow. Unbelievable. Especially my little burnt brain. Oh god. Doot 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 doot. Um so Wheeler is a charity streamer he raises money um for canine companions uh which essentially use these funds to help train service animals to get those service animals up to speed and then provide it to people that need them free of charge it's super cool he's been giving away to charity almost his entire twitch affiliate 
career, so to speak. Um, that is wholesome dude too. Uh, and Trombone Champ. I mean, this game is funny as hell if you haven't seen it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head it over there. Uh, hang out with them if you can for a bit. Drop a follow if that's all right with you. Um, we're gonna go hang out with Wheeler, my good friend. Try to raise some money for the doggos. Um, and really quickly, other than that, uh, rate and social stuff. Uh, if you want to just grab one of those messages, if you're a subscriber, grab that for subscribers line. Otherwise, the other one works as well. I feel like this song is repeating itself, so I'm going to skip it. There we go. Uh, I do have a Discord, yep. Coming over right now. Feel free to join that. We have good discussions there. Question of the day. The NSFW channel is fucking hideous. It tells you, welcome to the mob. It doesn't tell me who. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, thank you so much for the help earlier. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the mob. We're just about to write out to my buddy Wheeler. Um, hope you all have a good time hanging out. Um, have a great night. And um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, NSFW is maidenless content. It, it really is. Um, but that's it for me tonight. I will probably be back Monday. Tomorrow night's more than likely not happening. So I got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. <laughs> All right. That's it. Have a good night.